Well, like two drunks at a comedy show, Large Brain Marge and Ben Bobert couldn't stop heckling during the State of the Union last night. I really can't stand these two. I like how they make me feel. You know, they make me feel like I'm an old papa or a 50s sitcom husband or something. Because every time I see them, I'm just like, who's letting her talk? She ought not be allowed to talk, you know? But it ain't got nothing to do with them being women. It's because they're, you know, fucking cunts, mate. Yeah, I put an Australian accent on that so I thought it might play better. They always seem to get away with it. I guess we'll see how it goes. Anyway, they're the worst, is my point. It says so much about this country, all of it bad, that they hold the positions they do. Because if you described any of them to other people in a vacuum, they'd never guess what their job is. Oh, yeah, you remember her? She married that old boy who used to pull his dick out at the bowling alley and got arrested for having a gun in her purse that time. You'd be like, who are you talking about? Is this who you're buying pills off of now? Is this somebody trying to get you to join her Herbalife team? Who is this? Oh, a Colorado lawmaker? Kill me. Oh, or, yeah, I met this CrossFit instructor. Thinks there's Jews on the moon pulling the strings. Be like, yeah, well, you wander around enough Georgia strip malls and you'll have that. But no, she's wandering around the nation's capital wielding actual power. What the fuck is wrong with us? Although I shouldn't say us. Let's not pretend this type of boogity boogity batshit behavior is a bipartisan concern, okay? Like, the list of reasons liberals have for thinking that a conservative politician is insane consists of things like gave a tour of the Capitol to seditionists, suggested we liberate Canada, compared vaccines to the Holocaust, shit like that, right? Meanwhile, the list of reasons conservatives have for thinking a liberal politician is insane consists of things like is a Muslim woman or used to be poor. It's not the same. Okay, we all know that one side has a near monopoly on the type of abject political lunacy we see in this country, and it was on full display last night. Anyway, I think Biden did a fine job. Glory to Ukraine. Love y'all.